And back at home, we breathe oxygen every day, but the containers that hold it are in high demand and in low supply. Local hospitals have enough O2 in-house, but it's the concentrators and tanks that go home with COVID patients that West Texans need more of. News West 9's Rachel Rip explains. Victor, a deep breath. <sighs> Something we should never take for granted. 95 to 100 percent is the normal blood oxygen level, and many patients here at the hospital don't have that. Oxygen tanks themselves are in really, really, really high demand. You, you almost the, the tanks themselves are, you could say, in a shortage right now. That's not good news for some hospitals. Luckily, Midland Memorial and Medical Center are good on their O2 supply. The oxygen company that we use comes in twice a week. So on Tuesday, they usually refill on average about 96 of the tanks. And then they'll come a couple of days later on a Thursday and average to fill out about 48. You know, that's just the average we've seen over the last few weeks when we've been at the peak of this surge. MCH has about 150 to 200 tanks in total. That's not so much the worry. What is? is the lack of concentrators for patients leaving MCH or MMH who still need to balance out their O2 level. We're seeing lots of patients need it. It's not just patients in critical care or patients on ventilators. It's, it's patients in our med surge non-critical care that need that oxygen as well. In some cases, it's because of scarring in the lungs post-COVID, trying to recover. They'll come in with COVID, and they'll come in with low oxygen, and then that sets a whole chain of events that, that causes all of these different problems and sicknesses that you're seeing associated with the COVID diagnosis itself. In the meantime, this translates to more patients staying in the hospital longer than needed. For now, hospitals are holding their breath for more air containers. Now, doctors say when your blood oxygen level dips below 88, that's cause for concern. And when it dips like that, it can cause deliriousness or fatigue. For more details on this story, you can visit our website, newswest9.com. Reporting in Odessa, I'm Rachel Ripp. Back to you, Victor.